The same line of storms that produced the tornadoes in Texas arrived in central Georgia around noon yesterday. The worst touched off tornado warnings in our southern counties are right about the same time that Tiger Woods was walking up the 18th fairway. Our decision to cut into programming with the warnings and then leave CBS after Tiger's final winning putt and after he spent a few minutes hugging family members and friends prompted some strong emotions from you. Mary Beth Toll said in part, for many people, an, an antenna is their only way to gain access to news and information. This was about getting life-saving information to people. Michelle Puckett agreed, saying, thank you from Milan, Georgia. We may just be a small little town, but our lives matter too. Other folks were less than pleased with our coverage. On Twitter, Barb Dye says, 13 WMAZ News, you are the most idiotic TV station in the United States. What an awful move that was. It's clear Ben Jones preempted the entire green jacket ceremony out of spite. Not a good look, 13 WMAZ News. Ben joins us now. And ben, I had to say, you took a lot of heat for what happened yesterday. Uh, that would be an understatement uh, since yesterday afternoon. It was a big day in the sports world, and we did it for this reason when we cut in yesterday. Tornado warnings in several of our southeastern counties. Many of you have thanked us. Many of you were outraged. There have been comments like, why didn't you do a split screen? You could have jumped in and jumped back out or just get off my TV. Some so vile that I can't repeat them. Those types of decisions are not mine to make. Our general manager made the call to go with our coverage full screen to provide the best service to the people in the path of that storm, and I support that decision. I'm like you. I would have rather spent my Sunday at home with my family, relaxing on the porch, watching the Masters and Tiger get his green jacket. We would have all rather been at home. But duty called, and to those folks in the tornado warning, there was no replay. It was a one-shot thing, live and very real. Tough decisions had to be made yesterday. It wasn't fun. I didn't enjoy it, but if it happened again, we would do the same thing. It wasn't about me, my ego, spite, or me being racist. We have an obligation, a responsibility to the viewers in Central Georgia, and I believe we lived up to that yesterday. And we always will put the safety of our people first, and that's a promise. Straight from the heart. Yeah, it was unfortunate the Masters was going on, but it's the same. The policy is the same, whether it's right. the Masters, whether it's Andy Griffith, whether it's a CBS show. It doesn't show matter what time. it is. And once we go until that warning has expired, right. we will always stay with it. Because every single life interviewing at, uh, area matters. And I got to tell you, I am so impressed by your professionalism, uh, Ben. And I'm just so proud to work with you. Oh, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. It took a little bit of. <laughs> yes. To hold it back last night.